advocate art and I had a say for traditional and digital art. I want to share my thoughts on the subject. It's where one considered the other as not an art and the other considered as outdated. So first things first, what's the meaning of traditional art and digital art? Well, according to Wiktionary.org, traditional art is accountable, countable traditional art, plural traditional art. Art that is part of the culture of a group of people. Skills and knowledge that which are passed through generation from master craftsman to apprentices. Art that is real physical. Yeah. And according to tape.orange, the digital art term is used for describing an art which is made or presented using digital technology. Now you might ask in this situation, which is better? traditional art or digital art or you might ask as well is digital art is cheap or digital art is replacing traditional art I'll answer that later secondly I want to say that art isn't easy to make you know art is something that it takes years of practice effort and patience it requires strong passion to be able to create an art. Artists has this thing called art block and completely stops an artist from creating everything. Artists needs motivation, inspiration, source of imagination, you know. But people intend to randomly comment whether an artist is ugly or not, or pretty, or pretty or ugly. But it's not about being ugly or pretty. It's about what's within the art and what's behind its own story. Little do people know that art has its own language for us to interpret. Art isn't for the eyes to see. It's for us to listen and understand. And those who appreciate it will know. Now, answering the questions a while ago, um, first, they're both better in their own ways. Second, no, digital art is not a cheat. And third, if you start off painting and producing art with no experience at all, then basically, and the result will be the same for both arts. Forms. And no, digital art is not here to replace traditional art. Otherwise, museums will take down great works of art to put up some school. So why you ask? Well, they have advantages and disadvantages. So let's start with the advantages and disadvantages of traditional art. Well, First, the advantages of traditional art, it's an original physical artwork. And an original piece is more, more than a print or digital file. And it's imperfection flaws created by hand have a unique and authentic value. It's disadvantages that Mistakes are hard to remove. Mistakes can't be undone. It can only be embraced or covered up. It has difficulties in production process because you need scanner and a digital camera. And in equipment and materials is that when you run out something and you need it, and you need to buy it. And the the advantages and disadvantages of digital art is that the advantage of digital art is it's more efficient, easier to get started to work, um, nothing is forgiving, nothing is permanent when you have the unruly button, and it's unlimited, more experiment, experimental possibilities. It's easier to duplicate ideal for working with clients and five your materials 
and equipment because when you have your computer, your software, and your tablet, you're all set. And it's disadvantages that having a limited, limitless possibilities, unlimited possibility will lead, can lead to creative paralysis. And it has no original copy or physical copy, original physical copy. Well, it can be printed on textured paper, but it's not the same as painting and too easy some say that the undo button make it easier but it's a mis i believe that it's a misconception that it still requires a great great level of skills and fundamental art for to produce a good work of art and their artists some are naturally born with talent some are has skills I don't mean to cry to the past, in the past, on the past, but it's where we started it, we're evolving it, we have a history in it, and it's our origin, and digital made it easier for us, that is all, thank you.